Item number SCP-321 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-321 is to be kept in a regulation containment chamber. SCP-321 has been outfitted with extensive braces to make up for weaknesses in bone structure and muscle mass. Its artificial heart is to be examined once a month for any damage. SCP-321 is to be fed three times daily. Solid foods are excluded from its prescribed diet. Three staff members are on temporary SCP-321 assignment at this time. SCP-321 is to be given three hours a day of exercise and physical therapy, with the rest of its time not involved in experiments to be confined to its cell. While SCP-321 is incapable of asking for anything, it has been allowed several stuffed toys. Description SCP-321 is a human female, born on July 4th, 18... SCP-321 is currently 3.1 meters tall and weighs approximately 110 kilograms. Subject is devoid of melanin in hair, eyes, and skin. It is incapable of speech, but can still vocalize and has proven to have problems with spatial recognition and awareness. SCP-321 has displayed a low degree of intellect and has problems adjusting to new situations. SCP-321 was the stillborn child of junior researcher Adam and his wife, medical assistant Evelyn Junior researcher took it upon himself to make use of several SCPs, including SCP-590, in an effort to bring his daughter back to life. The procedure worked, but the result was taken into Foundation custody for examination. The subject was later given an SCP designation. SCP-321 was quickly found to have recuperative abilities, capable of healing injuries inflicted upon it at approximately five times the normal rate. Subject was at this time entered into Foundation records as SCP-321. In the time since, SCP-321's body has continued to age at a decelerated rate, approximately half that of a normal human. Although its aging has been slowed, SCP-321 has continued to grow showing no signs of stopping, despite now being taller than any recorded human. At this point in time, it is believed SCP-321's recuperative abilities stem from overabundant production of stem cells, a result of its interaction upon death with expunged. For a period of time beginning in early 19... The limits of SCP-321's natural heart were reached, and SCP-321 was too tall for blood to be circulated properly. During this period, SCP-321 was restrained physically in order to keep its heart capable of pumping blood to the brain. Despite this, slow decay was evident, and the limits of SCP-321's recuperative abilities were found, as it was not capable of healing damage that was being dealt constantly. Work began in 1948 to create an artificial heart to prolong SCP-321's existence. The heart was completed in 19... Since then, all damage done to SCP-321 has been healed. SCP-321 has a very low intelligence. Everyday activities are a chore for it, and it can take several months to years to teach it to do such things as use utensils for eating. While SCP-321 has fully developed vocal cords, it seems incapable of learning speech, instead crying and making nonsense noises as of those typically heard from infants under the age of six months. July 31st, 18... Requesting SCP-321 be removed from SCP status. Junior Researcher Adam. Request denied. 05... January 10th, 18... Requesting SCP-321 be removed from SCP status. Personnel Director Adam. Request denied. 05 May 3rd, 19 We can learn nothing more from SCP-321, suggesting we remove its SCP designation. Site Director Adam. Site 4. Request denied. 05 June 31st, 
19. SCP-321 is to be decommissioned and returned to her family, effective immediately. 0512. Request denied. This is the final time, Adam. She is not now, nor ever has been, your daughter. If you attempt this again, I will gather the council, and you will be removed. 051. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-320, Higgs Field Acceleration Manipulator, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.